It's big, it's beautiful, it's a grand piano. And each one of these majestic instruments is exquisitely handcrafted. The main difference from a standard upright piano is that in a grand the strings are longer and have to be arranged horizontally. The sound is produced by a felt hammer hitting up to three strings at once. The thicker and longer the strings are, the lower the note. Each string begins life as a single steel wire attached to a spinning machine. One of the workers scuffs up the surface with sandpaper so when a copper wire is wrapped around, it'll stay in place. He adds another wire to the string to give it a deeper bass note. The strings for a grand piano range in length from just 5 centimetres to over 2 metres. That's what allows them to produce an incredibly wide range of notes. Finally, he tightens the end of the wire to stop it from uncoiling. They have to use layers of flexible wood for the piano's casing, so they'll be able to bend it into the traditional shape. They're glued together and then squashed in a press until the adhesives dry. Then it's taken over to another press which will give it its shape. It's a tough job to get it into position and requires a bit of muscle and a lot of teamwork. When the strings are fixed, they'll have a combined tension of 24 tons. So the metal frame needs to be a super tough structure. It's made of precision cast iron in a technique that was developed in the early 19th century. A cocktail of bronze powder, dissolver and thickener is sprayed onto the metal surface to fill any pores and give the frame a smooth finish. The metal frame weighs about 170 kilograms and has to be lifted into the wooden casing with a pulley. Then it's time to fix the strings, all 240 of them. Low notes have just got one string, but the middle and higher notes have two or three to make them louder. They're called bichords and trichords. Each individual string has to be stressed until it reaches the exact pitch. Finally, they check the strings with a felt hammer. The hammer is controlled by a mechanism that enables a series of notes to be played consecutively at high speed. The workings of the piano are now complete. But before it can be fitted into the casing, an expert must check that all the hammers reach the same keystroke height so they produce an even sound. A key has to drop under a weight of 52 grams and they all have to be tested one by one. Who said the music industry was glamorous? All that remains is the final assembly. Every individual grand piano is handcrafted to the highest standards. That's why this factory builds, on average, just one a day.